17 minutes in Parkland, Florida. One minute for each classmate lost in a school shooting a month ago. This is where the national walkout movement began as part of a push for new gun laws. And today, as the accused gunman in the Parkland shooting faced a judge, students around the nation followed their lead even here in the upstate. All over the upstate, we've seen and heard from students finding different ways to show solidarity for school safety. We have team coverage for you tonight. 7 News reporter Aaron Rodgers is in Greenville County, where students were told to keep their demonstrations indoors for safety reasons. First, let's get to Nicole Ford, who's in our Anderson Bureau tonight. And Nicole, a very emotional day for the people of Anderson County. Yeah, hundreds of West Side students carried signs like this one. Some with simple messages, I want to live. Others, a little more intense, nothing good ever comes of violence. While all the signs read different things, the message was clear. All these students wanted change. Now, roughly 300 of those students at Westside High School walked out of their classrooms this morning at 10 a.m. out into the cold on the practice field to listen to student speakers share reasons why being part of this movement is so important. Now, the students asked for change in that no more school shootings occur and that they feel safe getting their education. There was a point in time where I was kind of scared to even come to school at one point. So the fact that you know, we can do something about this. It, it made me want to stand up and say, you know, I want my friends to be safe. I want to be safe. I want my students to be, my future students to be safe. Now, at the end of the walkout at West Side today, they released 17 balloons, one balloon for each of those victims as a sign of solidarity. Diane. And Nicole, we saw one of the signs there had the name Jacob Hall on it. Of course, the six year old boy who was killed in a shooting in that county about a year and a half ago. Did you see a lot of signs with his name on it? Were there a lot of mentions of that boy? Yeah, actually, along with those balloons, they actually released a superhero balloon for six-year-old Jacob Hall. Now, some of the students I spoke to said that even though they didn't live in Townville, that school shooting impacted them in all of Anderson County. So walking out today was more personal for them than just the Florida shooting or Columbine or Virginia Tech. It was something that they'd experienced right here at home.